So here is my battery. It's a 100 amp hour 12 volt AGM. Um, I have it charging on my trickle charger if my phone will focus there. So we're looking at the DC in the middle. So it's showing it's charging at about 13 volts. Um, here's my junky little charger. It's uh, charging at 12 volt 6 amp. This is my PWM charge controller. Um, now it's refusing to, uh, my panels are hidden over there behind the motorhome here, um, has refused to charge this battery, uh, basically saying that the panels are over voltage. Um, and what I discovered when I hooked up my trusty multimeter was that uh, the battery is not over voltage, it's substantially under voltage. Um, having sat for uh, about a year without being charged, um, it dropped down to 5.6 volts, so that's very bad for the battery, but I'm hoping it will recover. There's a bit of bulging on these sides here, but uh, we'll see what happens. I will have certainly lost capacity, but uh, in tracing this wiring here, one thing I discovered was um, basically the charge converter, um, which is uh, what keeps this accessory battery charged up for the caravan um, is wired only to charge it over uh, when I'm plugged into AC, so grid power, which I don't do very frequently. I guess I do what's called boondocking, which is where you just uh, kind of live off the land. Um, anyway, I'll post, uh, we'll see what happens. I'll give it a little bit here. The sun's going down, so being in the northern hemisphere, that means uh, I've only got about two hours of sunlight left. Okay, so I had it uh, sitting on the 6 amp charger there for, I don't know, 10-15 minutes. And now, if we look at the uh, multimeter, if we can focus, I am at 14-15 watts, or sorry, 14 or 15 volts. And the needle is jittering a little, but that's to be understood. It is pulse width modulation. Um, <clears throat> now if we check here, it looks like it's flickering, but uh, actually visually it's not. Um, that PV is slow blinking. It looks fast blinking on my uh, phone, but it is slow blinking, charging. We've got green lights across the board. So it looks like a uh, solution to the problem is to trickle charge. And I had another suspicion that actually I probably could have just gone straight from these panels um, to the battery for 15 minutes of direct sunlight if I were in a real pinch, um, which would put, put 22, I think I'm running 24 volts into the PWM, um, but from where it was, it probably would have uh, worked just fine to bring that battery level up. Um, the switch was fairly quick. Uh, I actually had the charger connected to the posts when I plugged the battery connections back in. I don't have a breaker or anything yet, I just literally unboxed this panel kit um, maybe half an hour ago. So this is just kind of a first test and that looks like it has done it. So um, yeah, solar to a dead battery, that's kind of how I fixed mine. I hope it helps somebody.